Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Ellie and Juliana, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show as I broadcast live across the nation. How are you ladies today? Thank you for having Doing us. Doing well, thanks. Well, let's get started. Uh, let's start with... Uh, it's uh, uh, tra the travel's on the rise. It's summertime. Everybody wants to go somewhere. Everybody <laughs> wants to d yes. take that. We, I'm so glad we threw away staycations. <laughs> <laughs> we are too. <laughs> you know, good, good, good. Let's start with you, uh, Allie. Tell yes. us about, you know, what we can do with all this great opportunity this summer. Yeah, absolutely. So Airbnb and 23andMe have teamed up because of this rise in heritage travel specifically, which is um, really, really popular in Airbnb right now. We've seen a 500% increase in the number of people who are turning to Airbnb to explore their heritage um, in the last five years. And heritage travel is kind of just like what it sounds like. It's people visiting um, the cities and countries of their ancestral origins. Um, and this is something that we think is becoming more popular because of the rise of at-home genetics tests like 23andMe, which have made it easier than ever before to learn about where you come from and your family history and your genetic makeup. And then another part of uh, this puzzle is, you know, people these days, as you mentioned, Valder, people are looking not just for a staycation or a vacation, they're looking for a trip that truly immerses them in the place that they're going and fosters a deep connection to the people and place that they're traveling to, as well as a personal transformation. And Heritage Travel really has the ability to check both of those boxes. Juliana, let me ask you, tell me about 23andMe, how we integrate that into travel. Yeah, so 23andMe and Airbnb have teamed up to provide customers with a really easy way uh, to explore their genetic ancestry uh, through a, a unique travel experience. So within the 23andMe account, customers can go to their ancestry populations um, and then browse through the different options of Airbnb homes uh, and experiences in their native countries. Um, but also they can look through others that they might not have genetic ties to, but just a very personal interest in. Yeah, and you can do the same on Airbnb.com, too. We have different landing pages that correspond to the genetic populations that um, are popular on 23andMe. How can people segue the cost of doing this? Because, you know, if they're from Europe or something like mm -hmm. that, along with having uh, this great opportunity to find out who they are. Definitely, yeah. So, yeah, it's no easy feat to just, like, cross the pond and go to another country <laughs> to explore your heritage. So a way you can offset those costs is actually hosting your own space on Airbnb um, and listing uh, your home on the site. It's very free and simple to do. All you have to do is go to Airbnb.com and click on the Become a Host option at the top of your page. And from there, you'll answer a series of questions of how to describe your space and how to um, describe it so that guests can come to your page and know exactly what they're looking for. Um, so yeah, that's a really great way to earn while you burn, as you say, as they say. A lot of a lot of hosts on Airbnb say that hosting their space actually offsets the cost of their entire vacation in most cases, which is great. I've got a Facebook post. I'll take one for each one of you. One of uh, the Facebook posts it says, uh, "What does that say?" Okay, so do you have to live in your home to host it as an Airbnb? Thought that was a good question. Yeah, so it depends all on where you're based. So there are different uh, rules and regulations in different cities across the globe. Um, but most of the time, you do not have to actually live in the space that you're hosting, although about the vast majority of our hosts on Airbnb are the primary resident in their home. And it's really a really great opportunity to have a supplemental income. A lot of people say that hosting their home on Airbnb actually um, allows them to stay in their home um, and pay in those monthly payments on their mortgage. So um, although you don't have to, a lot of people do. Okay. This is a 23andMe question. The uh, poster wants to know, what if there's some pro some surprising elements of your history that your family is not aware of and they're there when you reveal them? How do you handle that? Yeah, so I think that, uh, you know, for different people, uh, finding out your ancestry means different things. We heard from customers um, that they wanted a tangible and meaningful way to explore their ancestry. Um, it's a very small part of the puzzle. Um, and so we're just providing you with one unique way out of the many uh, ways that you can explore your ancestry. Um, so, you know, it, it is just based on genetics, but um, yeah, for different people, it can mean different things. 
Oh, ladies, thank you so very much. I'm so excited about the opportunity <laughs> to, you know, merge 23andMe and Airbnb and have a great summer. Is there a place online where we can send the audience? Because they've got a lot of questions and yeah. I should get to them. <laughs> Definitely. You can visit airbnb.com slash heritage travel. And then you can visit 23andMe's website at 23andMe.com. Oh, I want to thank you guys. I want you guys to know that Juliana is a genetic trends expert for 23andMe. So this is very authentic information. Ladies, I want to thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you for having us. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. <laughs>